Thank you, Lynn. More local headlines for you this morning. First responders making sure they're ready in case the St. Louis region is targeted in a major attack. That's the goal in the multi-day counterterrorism training happening this week in our area. Fire 2's Chris Renier has the details. We're inside the Embassy Suites Hotel here at the St. Charles Convention Center. This is where a lot of the classroom training is taking place for this entire project. This is a three-day training course. It started yesterday, continues today, and then wraps up tomorrow. It is being put on by the Readiness Lab. That's a St. Louis-based group that does a lot of teaching to various organizations about these emergency situations. Here's a look at what this three-day training course covers. It really addresses a lot of areas, including evacuation procedures, crisis messaging, counterterrorism measures, security protocols, mass care management, and medical response in emergencies. And there are a lot of groups taking part in this training. They include the Department of Homeland Security, the DEA, the National Guard, local police and fire departments, Wash U SLU, the St. Louis Area Regional Response System, the St. Charles County Emergency Management Agency, even the British Army is here participating. We can show you a video from the Readiness Lab promoting this whole project. Organizers call this training an intensive study in crisis leadership and emergency management designed to prepare organizations for complex incidents. After a good deal of classroom learning here, the training culminates tomorrow with an actual exercise down at Bush Stadium called an attack at the stadium. The Readiness Lab founder, John Scardina, tells us the concepts here can be applied to many disasters like what is unfolding in Florida with Hurricane Adalia. Here is some of what John told us earlier this morning. When you're talking about those concepts, really what you're talking about is Hurricanes, we evacuate in a hurricane. We do public messaging in a hurricane. Same thing during a coordinated terrorist attack, right? We need to communicate with the public very quickly. We need to increase our crisis leadership and decision-making very fast. Scardina tells us one of his instructors for this training actually had to leave because he had to go back to Florida to respond to the hurricane. That person was one of the high-ranking officers in the Orlando fire department. So you can imagine he might be busy over the next few days. It certainly seems that the groups taking part in the training here are going to leave with a very thorough understanding of how to handle whatever emergency might come their way. Reporting in St. Charles, I'm Chris Renier.